Georgetown is off for a four-game trip to Italy, and this is going to be a critical trip for the Hoyas, a team that certainly could contend with Villanova and a couple others for the Big East regular season title next season. Uh, prior to the 2011-12 season, Georgetown went on a foreign trip. That was prior to Otto Porter's freshman year, and they've got a very impressive freshman class yet again, so it's a big trip for them. L.J. Peak, uh, earlier this summer, he was part of the gold medal U19 team that won uh, in Greece, so a great uh, summer for Peak, playing with USA Basketball, now Georgetown, two trips overseas. He's going to have a major role on this Georgetown team and certainly could be an all-Big East player this upcoming season. And Devontae Smith-Rivera, who declared for the NBA draft, but not officially, allowing him to come back uh, for this season, but did announce he was going to declare for the draft. He could end up being one of Georgetown's all-time greats, and uh, this is another chance for him to become even more of a leader of this team, especially when he's got some new players he's going to have to uh, find as he's that leader on the perimeter and a big-time scorer for the Hoyas. Now, LSU, they're heading off to Australia. Uh, Johnny Jones, our head coach, telling me this is a trip that was planned after getting the commitment from Ben Simmons from Australia, a potential number one draft pick in 2016. And Jones telling me on this trip to Australia, a great chance for them to get some chemistry, to bond, and uh, to have players play uh, different positions to see how uh, they all adjust. And more than anything with Ben Simmons, try him at multiple spots on the floor to see how they're going to use him this season. So this is a great trip for LSU because I think we're going to be talking about the Tigers a lot this season. And to get Ben Simmons back to Australia right before his freshman year at LSU uh, should be a huge coup for the Tigers going forward. Cincinnati, uh, now their non-conference schedule is complete. Not a lot of talk about this Bearcat team that has a great shot to get back to the NCAA tournament, win the AAC, challenge UConn, among others, for that regular season title. This is a team with the core of its team back, and uh, Mick Cronin back coaching after uh, having to take uh, last year off due to his medical condition. Uh, he's feeling great. He's back. was back on the recruiting circuit. They're going to play Nebraska in this tournament in the Barclays Center and then either Tennessee or GW. So that completes their schedule in the non-conference. They have a very good schedule for a team that certainly will be, I think, an NCAA tournament team. You've got Butler at home, NCAA tournament bound team, I think, out of the Big East. Iowa State, potential Big 12 uh, contender with Kansas. Those games are at home. Then they're at Xavier, obviously a big-time game and a rivalry game every year in Cincinnati. At VCU. And then at Bowling Green, a tough game uh, against a team from the MAC. So a very good schedule for Mick Cronin in non-conference for the Cincinnati Bearcats. All right, that's your three-point shot for ESPN.com. I'm Andy Katz.